hold the scent timer is the amount of time the wing drops. You can change it here. Clear, two, three, gives you 2.3 seconds in it. Auto cycle. You still have your hold, your counter, you can reset. Delay. Delay is the amount of time when you're in automatic cycle that the wing will stay at the top. Again, you can change it. Uh, when you're using the foot pedal, it's better to have this at one second or less. Uh, F2, hold it bottom, and you can change it. This just gives the book time to settle at the bottom of, of the stroke, at the bottom of the, uh, when the book is at the very bottom. You can have it hold for a period of time. This is manual. Hold mode, which which more or less just allows the glue rollers to spin so that the glue doesn't dry on it. If we take it out of hold mode, it comes back to the top and stops. Won't do anything. If we do manual up and down, we hit down, the whole thing will go down into full stroke. Then we hit the up button, it goes back up again. Auto mode. You can use the foot pedal or you can use the start key. The start key will use the automatic timer. If you just use the foot pedal, it'll do one stroke at a time. And that's it. Okay, to uh, three seconds. Well, clear. Three, zero, enter. I hit start. It will wait the three seconds, then the book will go down. You get glue. You can do 15 seconds. This gives you enough time to put the cover on and take it off, and it will go down again. So you wouldn't normally do it for three seconds. You do it for 10 seconds to 15 seconds to give time for your operator to put the cover on before the book wing goes down again. Um. To disassemble the glue box off the casemate 2.0, grab the handle, pull the rack out between the gears and the pusher. You want to flip, you have to push this forward a little bit, flip all the uh, little clasps off, and take out these shoulder bolts. You have one on either side. They only have to be finger tight because <clears throat> they're only used for micro adjusting. Flip that up, then you can get the front one out. Then when you pick it up, you want to lift backwards. You want to lift the, the transfer roller out first. It comes right out. Then you can set it off to the side. To put it back in, Tilt it in this direction, line it up, align the pins in the back here, and it pops down into place. There's two sensors on the machine. When the wing is going down, one sensor will trigger the rollers to come in so that the rollers can come in and back roll up the book, or you can have it come in where it comes in and hits here when this reaches the bottom. The other sensor as the roller, as the wing's coming up, the rollers are rolling down. You can have the rollers open up anywhere along the book. We change that by these sensors in the back. The sensor here is when the wing is going down, you want the rollers to come in right at the spine of the book or, or an inch or so uh, above the spine. This sensor here with the scale, you set to the length of the book or the travel so that the rollers open up just before the rollers reach the end of the book by anywhere from 10 to 15 millimeters. Okay, when you're doing a run of books, the easiest thing to do 
uh, to make sure that you don't get any extra glue at the edge so the rollers come in and actually glue the pages together is you take your tape and this can be set up to a metric scale this is 12 and a half inches uh, 12 and 5 eighths roughly so we come here and we move our proximity sensor loosen it up and we pull it up here so the light is in line with 12 and 5 eighths maybe a little bit less maybe 12 and a half what this allows so when I send down what we're going to do is we're going to change this as you can see when the wind goes down the rollers come in they're going to open before the end of the book so we need to adjust for that we take our tape measure uh, this can easily be converted to metric metric scales it's uh, 12 and 5 eighths we move a proximity sensor which causes the opening of the rollers this is the one with the scale and we'd move the sensor indicator light to 12 and 5 eighths this is a rough scale depending on the type of book you're doing whether you're doing a flat back a round back book where the rollers come in and hit is going to change but now as you can see as this goes down again and comes back up you'll see the rollers open up right at the very end of the book. This keeps the rollers from sweeping in under the roller and gluing pages together. That's it. You can see when, as these rollers come in, you can see where the rollers are hitting, hitting the book. It's about 10-15 uh, millimeters down, um, down the book. If you need the rollers to be higher, depending on the, the the thickness or, or the type of binding it is, okay, there's an adjustment. That adjustment is here. Uh, this can be adjusted when the machine is in, in operation. Okay, as you can see, the glue transfer rollers, where they're hitting the, the edge of the book, we have about 12 millimeters or so from the tangent point of the roller uh, to the spine. If you need the glue to come up higher, we have to make an adjustment. In order to make that adjustment, we have the machine in the up position, and inside here, there's a bolt um, and an adjustment. We loosen this adjustment, and we allow this to slide up or down. As you can see, the wing right now moving up or down. So this is going to adjust where, where the wing is going to stop. So I'm moving this up and down, adjusting the wing, and then I'll tighten it back up again. And then I'll test it in the manual mode to see if the adjustment I made was adequate. Again, you, you want to do this for runs more than individual books. nearly perfect. You'd actually want that to be a little bit higher, maybe uh, three to four millimeters higher than it is now. During uh, technical procedures, if you need to, we have air pressure that we can adjust. This is the main air pressure for the wing to go up and down. We're running this at about five bar, um, or that's about 90 PSI. The in and out of the glue boxes is going to be running at around 20 PSI or just about one and a half bar. Um, if we need to open up for anything, open the glue boxes, we can turn the pressure down to zero, then we can manually pull this in and out in order you know, to see or to, to make minor adjustments. Okay, then the wing can come up and take the book off.